On today's video, we'll be looking at the smoke detector. For every smoke detector, there's a wiring harness. If you look here, you'll see there's multiple wires that tie in to make the connection for the smoke detector. One of the questions often asked is why are there sometimes only two wires connected and why sometimes are there three wires connected? If you look here, this is a new wiring harness. You can see it comes with the hot and it comes with the neutral and then it comes with a third wire and oftentimes you'll see it almost enclosed. Generally, which wires tie into where are dependent on the layout of your wiring. Here we have our hot coming in and we also have our neutral. Most of the times you'll see just only the need to connect these two wires. So you would connect your hot with your hot your neutral with your neutral, and you would just leave this wire and just push it up into the ceiling when you install your new smoke detector. For instance, you would see something like this where the harness is plugged in. You have one wire just kind of tied together, but really the only two connections you're making are going to be for your hot and your neutral. Whereas on this one, you could see we have all three of our wires connected. Here we have two separate smoke detectors and you can see that this one comes with the same harness, three wires, and usually you'll see here at the end, this one's enclosed as well as on this wiring harness. The reason that there is a third wire, this basically means that all of your smoke detectors are interconnected. Simply put, if one goes off, the other ones go off as well. Let's say you're sleeping, there's smoke detected inside of the kitchen, but you have an upstairs bedroom. If your smoke detectors are interconnected, once the downstairs smoke detector goes off, all of these smoke detectors that are connected to that circuit will start to chirp and set off the alarm, advising you that there is smoke that's detected. Whereas if you only have your 120 volt in your neutral connected, only that smoke detector will alert you that there's smoke. So here I have my new smoke detector connected. This is just going to be free hanging. I haven't really connected it yet. This is just to give you a demonstration. So this is the one that I have downstairs and you can see that all of my wires are connected including my interconnected wire. This is my other smoke detector and you can see I have the interconnected wiring as well. Right now I'm going to manually set off the alarm this is the smoke detector that, that's upstairs, and when I set off the alarm, you'll hear that simultaneously the alarm of the smoke detector downstairs will start to uh, alert and sound as well. Now I'm going to remove my interconnected wire and you'll see that this smoke detector will act independently of the smoke detector downstairs. I do have a video posted on my channel in how to replace and remove your old smoke detector and install the new smoke detector including wiring and how to check voltage. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.